You know what Robert B. Robert B. Parker says about him? This is no such thing as writer's block. He said, if you have a plumber that comes to your house and he dismantles the pipe under your sink and then he says, I, I'm sorry, I can't go on today. I have plumber's block. <laughs> If, if you're a professional writer, you write, and some days are easy, and some days you can't type fast enough, and other days you get up, and you walk around the house five times, and you throw stuff in the laundry, and it's like, you know, every, every word is painful, but you keep doing it. And of, the thing I've learned is, if it's not going well, you're trying to force your character into something he or she wouldn't do, and they don't like it. It's, you know, it always amazes me. I have a, I have a friend who says that when you discover a principle, one of the ways that you can tell that the principle is true is that it will manifest itself in different environments in slightly different ways. And that has been my experience. So talking to you just now, um, absolutely talking to my friend Christopher Moore, who's in from Bangkok, by the way, the other day, we kept hitting upon the same ideas except putting it in a slightly different way. Anyway, that's, that's one that we completely yeah. agree. That's one of the wonderful things about coming to conferences like this and meeting other writers is when you've started off and you've written on your own and you've sold your first books and things, you've been doing it pretty much into the dark. And suddenly you start talking to other people and they go, yeah, that's how I do it too. And, and you suddenly think, wow, I've sort of somehow, i found my people somehow, you know? <laughs> yeah. which, which, is, which is also part of the reason I think uh, it's, it's the very nature of art. It's why we're drawn to art. It's why art is meaningful because um, I think, well, as writers, I read from a little screen, we're all alone, you feel lonely, but as people too, as human beings, in many ways, it's kind of a lonely thing. And if you, um, if you think about it, it's almost the definition of hell. I mean, can you imagine being the only person on Earth? I mean, even if you had access to stores that you liked and DVDs and things like that, and food, it would still, it would be hell not to have other people. With. Sometimes it doesn't seem that way, sometimes it seems like it would be heaven. But mostly, I think it would be heaven. The person's on the cell phone in the, uh, in the elevator, then sometimes when I think about it. But mostly, <laughs> We can agree it would be help. But when you read, well, it could be any art, but in our case, when you read something that someone has written and they nail the feeling of a place or they're inside a character's head and, and just channeling that character's thoughts, and you read that and you go, yes, I know exactly how that feels. I know exactly how that place feels or how that person feels and what he's thinking or she's thinking at that moment. And it makes you feel like I'm not alone. And it creates this feeling of uh, connectedness with other people. And uh, yeah, conferences are, are good for that too.